because it will start to do this. You'll start to feel worse. Here's the easiest way to get it. Anything that's not a truth will make you feel worse. That's the right brain's awareness. If you feel bad in any way, shape, or form from being in or around someone who is talking to you or just physically next to you, chances are it's a lower density lie, period. If you feel worse, trust it. If you feel bad, trust it. Your body's talking to you. Your sensory awareness is telling you this feels bad. The rightness of you, if you're God in a body, which is true because we know energy's in and through everyone. There's nowhere that it's not. Energy's everywhere in every one of us connecting us. If you're feeling good and uplifted and excited, you're getting a truth. If you're going, yeah, this is good. Yeah, this is good. Now, this is one of the things the animals teach us. Animals teach us, they're so good. They're like, feels good, <gasps> yeah, I'm so excited. Oh my God, this is so great, I'm so excited. Yeah, let's go for it. Or when they go, feels bad, they're like, this feels bad. It's so obvious, right? But meanwhile, we just keep going, diving right into the fire. This feels bad, I hate my job, I'm going anyway. <laughs> I hate my boss, that's okay, I'm going anyway. I'm just gonna just kill myself through it, I did it. I certainly did do it, literally. So anyway, this is like part of tapping into your gifts because the real truth about 2012 and beyond is that we don't really have to do anything that makes us feel bad anymore. Because the way we're gonna get, this is what I mean about manifestation, this isn't a whole manifestation class, but when you learn about the gifts of manifestation, it's literally about feeling good about what you really want as if it's already here right now because as you do it, you are creating it in your reality. There's nothing out here, you understand? You guys aren't even here, you're just here. It's a gift I gave to myself so that I could have the experience of giving a presentation and feeling really great about sharing my wisdom. I'm not really here, I'm just somebody that you manifested, some aspect of you that you felt like you needed a teacher to teach you what you already really know. Does that make sense? So the idea is if we're not really here, all of this is energy moving around. We're just particles of energy that never stop moving. They're constantly moving and in flow. And the thing about really great energy is that it feels really good and it has so much energy. And it makes you really happy and feels really healthy because it can't metastasize or feel bad. It's just moving and flowing. That's what we're moving into with 2012. And manifestation is about making that energy real in the physical body, in the physical experience. So I know that's just a whole lot of stuff I just gave you. That's kind of the way I present both. The slower density energies are the ones that are going to make you feel bad. Fear, worry, doubt, anxiety, frustration, hatred, revenge. What do they do? They metastasize. They can't move. They get stuck. And they form. What do they form? Cancer. Disease. Cancer. So as we learn to heal ourselves, it's about clearing out the denseness, the dense, heavy energies of fear, worry, doubt, anxiety, and all those traumas and dramas that are stored up in the unconscious brain, they're all stored up in there, and they're manifesting in the body as illness. And as we clear that out, using these gifts that we all have, then we move into this high vibrational, high frequency energy. And by the way, everything I'm saying about this, you could easily go to Dr. Bruce Lipton and, you know, cellular biologist and research this, all, you know, Dr. Deepak Chopra, all these dogs, Dr. Valerie Hunt and so many others. So they're literally saying that everything's energy. Slower moving energies can get stuck. Law of attraction, they track, attach onto one another. Faster moving energies move so fast that they vibrate so fast and you can't keep up with them. By the way, do you guys also know, how many strands of DNA do you have? Two? Well, so right now the scientific community tells us that we have 10 strands of junk DNA. This is kind of funny to me. Have you ever been in nature and seen nature not use up everything? Is there anything that's junk in nature? And aren't we nature? Like, aren't we made up of the same carbon, protein, carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen that everything else is? We are. Everybody's made up of those components to the best of our ability, to the best of our knowledge right now anyway. So those junk strands, they're not junk. They just need to get activated. That's part of the shift too. So as we start to activate these other strands, we're healing ourselves, we're tuning into all these gifts and abilities. So going back to this whole thing, when you're feeling shrunk, you're getting a lie. When you're feeling big, you're getting a truth. 
when you're feeling excited and joyful. And as you start bringing this into your life every day and your everyday awareness, you're going to start using it more. And you're going to start going, hmm, why do I need to go to a job that I hate and work for a boss that I hate when I can dream up something better in my mind, I can manifest it as real, I can feel it really good, I can dream it up as possibilities knowing that I'm in a field of infinite possibilities and I have the power within me by tapping into my inner energy to make it so. Make sense? Everybody with me? And that's part of the shift because as everybody gets happier and everybody learns this truth, these are truths. These are not like airy fairy. That's why I give the scientific scientific information behind it because it gets the left brain out of doubt it moves the skeptic out of the way so as we all begin to do this and it's starting bigger and bigger it's getting really like wildfire 2012 is just the is just the tipping point of when the really the majority enough people have already come into this to know that it's true but the tipping point is that the majority of people will already be awake to it and the other thing about 2012 that's really the key thing is, it's the recognition that we create our reality, each one of us. So when I say I'm not really here and you're not really here, it's really because we create our reality based on what's on the inside. So all of those inside conscious and unconscious beliefs, ideas, feelings and experiences are things that manifest outwardly in our experience. Does that make sense? So then that means that if you have a job that you don't like, I just keep using this as an example, or a situation you don't like, you can get out of it pretty easily by recognizing you have the power within you to shift the energy, change the energy, and create something brand new. Instead of having a victim consciousness that we've had on this planet for so long that tells us, go to your doctor, go to your lawyer, go to your government, go to your teacher, go to your boss, because someone outside of you knows better than you do. The shift is really about us waking up to this stuff. Make sense? All right, cool. All right, so questions? Anyone have questions? Oh my goodness. I'm almost all running out of time. What do you think big happened on December 21st earthquakes or where we know it's a different day, we just wake up and the sun rises? Well, you know, I'm not, I haven't projected into that, but everything that I know says that pretty much it's going to be another day. Okay. Pretty much just another day. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, listen, I'm gonna, I want to do little readings if you want little readings or other questions, but thank you for reminding me. So can you, you I thought you were going to already do that. Yeah. Please put your email address on there and I want to tell you um, really quick and we'll do some questions. If, with, we have still 10 minutes because we got in late, but um, I'm doing a raffle at my booth, 252, for three prizes. One is an Animals in the Afterlife. By the way, tomorrow I'm doing a presentation at 4 o'clock about animal communication. This package has all kinds of stuff about learning about that, and it's valued at 480 so it's a, a raffle package. This is a manifestation package, so it's all about how to manifest, how to start doing it, how to start using it. This package is valued at 530 And this one's learn animal communication. It's all about how to learn to do animal communication. And when I say animal communication, the way I teach it is you and I are animals. So it's telepathic communication. And that's package is valued at 622. So if you put your email on there, you will be entered to win these. And you'll hear that from me in the newsletter from me, Lori at Ethel's God. And then I also want to quickly tell you, and then I'm going to switch to questions, I promise. I'm teaching people how to do this, unlock your psychic gifts and abilities in a workshop the third weekend of October, and also a teleseminar that starts the second week, a Tuesday. So you can choose a teleseminar or in-person if you want to learn more and develop it much deeper. Because obviously an hour, you could see, I could talk forever, it'll never stop. And if you want to know more, flyers are here, so you can definitely get those too. All right, so questions? You guys want any little mini readings or anything? By the way, I also want to tell you, I practice numerology as well. So if you're speaking French, this number, if you look at my finger, is a one. If you're speaking Italian, it's a one. If you're speaking German, it's a one. One is one is one, it doesn't matter. Before we had English or any other verbal language, we use numbers. Every number correlates to an energy or a vibration. And those numbers have meanings. That energy has meaning. So I use numerology It's part of what I do and part of what I teach too. So anyway, when you're in the psychic development class, it's one of the things we're gonna teach. But do you guys have any questions? Yes. Hi. What's your name? Hello, Christian. Hi. Yes, I do. Um, so do you, uh, sort of, do you do oh, well, I, I do private sessions with people. 
and I call them empowerment coaching sessions because it's really about getting empowered and waking up to who we are, learning how to do this. Everything I do, I teach. I also do classes and workshops, of course. I do a lot of animal communication and I do a lot of energy healing. So I'll tell you a little bit about some of the energy healing too, and if someone else has other questions that you want to ask, which I will certainly take. But the thing about energy healing is if we wake up that we realize that all, everything's energy. Oh, I did want to say about the, the DNA strands. That's why I asked about that. So everything's energy moving at these different speeds and these different rates, right? When you access these dormant DNA strands, which is one of the things I help people to do in this workshop I do, manifestation and healing workshops, where I help people, I really, we are awakening up our DNA, our dormant DNA. That energy is moving stuff that's dense and packed. So for example, some of the examples I, I can give you is, I recently, oh yeah, I should say that too, but in one of my manifestation workshops, I had somebody there who wanted to, um, yeah, I just got sidetracked off of that one, sorry. Because now I'm thinking, Matt, I want to tell you about the DNA thing, so let me stay focused on that. So I had somebody who called me, she wanted to be in the manifestation workshop. Her dog was really, really not walking well, having a lot of problems, and she was low on energy, tired of nursing him every day. She did a manifestation and healing workshop. She activated some, we activated some DNA. I did this also, worked with her privately. And she couldn't believe that within the first session, after the first session, the dog and her went out for their first really long walk in months or I don't know how long it was. And she wrote me and she's like, I cannot believe how much energy we have. And this is what happens when you start working with this. I mean, if you just look at me right now, I'm pretty high energy, right? Wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah it's kind of hard to, <laughs> but this is what happens when you start working this, with this stuff, you've got so much energy. It's almost hard to package it into a product. I mean, it's hard to stick it in a box or a body, but it, it does stay in there. And this is part of what it is. So anyway, some other really great examples of just manifestation and the, and the DNA stuff is that um, I had one client who physically had um, her pancreas or uh, appendix, appendix exploded. And she was in the hospital and the doctor said, well, you've got to you know, stay in the hospital for quite a while here. And we don't know, you know, we need to monitor you. And at that point when she came to me, her husband had just died. She, had, she was not getting along with her family. They didn't want to really keep company with her. She didn't really have any friends. She had no job. She was running out of money. She was an older woman. And she thought she was going to die in the hospital. And she called me up and she was like, okay. She had done something with me somewhere, knew of me. She's like, I really want to do some work. Like, can we change this? I was like, yes, we can. So within a week, the doctor was like, I cannot believe how much you're up walking around out and about, like you're healed so fast. But even greater than that, within just a couple months, she had a job at a library making money. Her friends and her family wanted to come over for the holidays. They were inviting her over to babysit her kids. She was getting along with her kids and her grandkids better. She got a job, a volunteer job in, an, in a rescue organization as an animal communicator. This is within a few months and her whole life shifted. She was feeling good, feeling happy, feeling stronger to the point that they were all asking her, what's going on? What are you doing? Energy, developing her gifts. All right, I could go on about this, but questions? Anybody? So you're all still sitting here, so what that tells me is you like it, but you don't know what to ask. To have six minutes. What, the name of the guy that did the brain? what happens brain when you know that there's something coming up that you know it's wrong, but you feel like you're forced to go through it. Like I had a surgery, I knew for 10 days that I was doing the surgery and it felt wrong the whole time. Mm. I went through the surgery and the doctor lacerated my aorta during the surgery. I was mm. dead for 25 minutes. Wow. I should have listened to myself, but how do you well, recognize that you need to listen? I, I know now to listen to that. Yeah. Well, it's a, it is definitely a practice. It's a practice. You start listening to every thought in your brain. You can start asking. You can start doing this right away. Whose thought is this? Where did it come from? Because you are already telepathic. You're already way more psychic. You're, you're way more psychic than you realize already. So start asking, whose thought is this? Where did this thought come from? And if you're feeling bad, you just say, you know what? I, I need to pray on this. What does Oprah say? I need to meditate on this. Some people say, I need to dream on it. You said that the other day. I need to dream on this. Do you remember that? So take, 
honor yourself, give yourself a time. Just because someone outside of you is telling you their point of view, their perspective, it doesn't make it right. In fact, one of the things I teach is the universal laws. Do you guys know what the universal laws are? There's two primary laws of the universe. The first one is do no harm, not to yourself or any other. The second one, which stands side by side, which is equally, is the law of free will, which that's a whole conversation in and of itself. But you have free will. No one can really force you to do anything. You felt forced, but the truth is you can't be forced. Even if somebody comes up to you with a gun, like a police officer, and says, if you don't sign this ticket, which, by the way, a government, I'll just say, is a DBA. It's a doing business as. It's a registered corporation in Puerto Rico. It is not a legal government. It's, it's, an, it's an illegal government. But if you, um, I hear you. So if, if, you, if you follow the universal laws, no one can force you, even if someone comes up with you with a gun, if you're willing to die. Right? But that's not what you were really, in a way, it was more like you needed the breath to say, what is right for me? And so that's part of what you're learning now. You're alive, you're here. The good news is the past is over and you can create an entirely new future. You really can. Yeah. I hope that helps. Yeah, Okay. There's certain vortexes around the planet, the pyramids in Egypt, the Mayan pyramids, those are vortex energies. They're deliberately designed to bring in energies. By the way, every light worker on the planet is a vortex of energy. I have energy in and around my body that when I energetically expand it out, it affects everyone in my field of energy. We're on in the field. So people around light workers tend to feel better, be inspired, be uplifted, get healed, or else they get triggered, which is no fun, like when it's happening with your neighbor, but they'll get triggered by very things they need to release and let go of. Make sense? All right, you guys, I want to thank you. It was really fun for me. I love to share this information. I just want to tell you one more time, if you want to come to the booth 252, you can check in, you can learn more. I love to answer questions. And you can definitely take cards. I hope you gave me your email addresses. And you'll be